Okay, last step in doing these drawings um, after you have your plan and your AXO is to create the section. Um, so I am going to just use the section command um, after I have selected this object, type in section and just draw a line where I want to draw my section, which is right down the middle here. You can see the yellow lines are created. And so since I only want one section, I'm just gonna press enter. And I think that the best way to generate a section um, will be to use this as a cutting object to split this model. Um, so I think I'll probably duplicate it just so that I don't alter the original. Um, so I'm gonna select the entire thing and just deselect the line work and then go split and select this section as my cutting object and press enter. Hopefully this works. Um, so let's see. That's taking a really long time. So I'm just gonna um, uh, see what the, the holdup is here. Maybe what I'll do instead is draw a line through the entire section and use that as a splitting object. So um, I'm going to extrude it both sides and then select this model. I'll ungroup it and then see if we can speed this up a little bit. Okay. Looks like that worked. I'm just gonna keep ungrouping this because I think there's a lot of groups inside. Um, okay, let's see if that has worked. Yeah, looks like looks like we've gotten rid of most of the groups. So basically what I'm gonna do is select all of the pieces on this side, group them together and hide them. Oh, looks like I missed a couple. There's a few pieces here that I need to deselect. So group those, hide them for now. And then I'm going to um, we'll split this, this object. And now if I get rid of that, I have some end caps here. So let's move into one of our other views. I think the right view will be good. And I'm just gonna move this over to the side so that there's nothing else beyond it. And here we can do a make 2D. Look at how this has turned out. Okay, so this essentially looks like our section cut line and we will have a little bit of work to do to clean it up. There's another thing that we can do uh, to make sure that we've captured that section cut line, which is to copy it down, rotate it, and then use our gumball to rotate it again so that it is in the right plane. And now we can match it up with our other layer here. So now we're sure that we have the right section cut line. And I'm just going to make a new layer that says section cut and change those objects. Uh, so now if I select all of that other stuff, I can just delete it because I now have my section cut, which is correct. I think we don't need the scene silhouette in this instance. So what I'm going to do is just change this uh, back to another color and I'm going to export this section. But as, as a note, if you look at your section and you realize um, this isn't exactly what you had in mind, for example, to me, it looks like there should be some level ground here and that these want to be trimmed so that they're all coming out of the same point in the ground. Um, now is a good time to do some editing on your line work. So if you want to uh, trim away the base and uh, fix up all the lines before you begin working in Illustrator, this is a good opportunity to do that. 